but also it intrigued me the world the darker side of the world the Ouija boards uh, Ouija boards uh, seances all that kind of spiritual tar tarot card reading all that kind of stuff really got a hold of me and interestingly that all came from our very first album launch which you would say which you would look at very innocently because it was around Halloween it was a Halloween party in a big mansion but in that was super demonic super demonic but for what this young kids it's a bit of, it's a bit of fun all the record company are there and all the, the journalists are there and here we go but when I look at the, the way the industry um, has the ruling over music now of course not all music is bad by all means it's not but majority of it there is to take you away from Christ 100% take you away from Christ in terms of the lyrics and the, is that what you mean or do you mean the industry itself people the big players in the industry both lyrically and both big players both um, I've been in rooms at the, the top of the top which albums are prayed over demonically music is prayed over demonically and um, that goes out to the world goes out to the radio stations goes out to the public and when you see that stuff and know that stuff it's frightening. What do you mean by that, Shane? Prayed over demonically. So uh, rituals, ceremonies, everything to bring um, uh, to give light to, to to the devil, to Satan. It's, it's a satanic music industry. That's majority of what it is. Do you do you mean figuratively, or do you mean literally? You've been in literally, yes. And can Not you sh Can you share what those albums were? Um, were they your albums? No, they weren't they? our albums. No, they were not boys' own albums. Um, so that's what I mean by not every music is that, but it was on the stepping stone to that. So you're going back to the 1993s into 2000s, and then um, if you look at what the music is today, the industry is today, uh, for all your Sam Smiths to your Dojo Cats to your Beyonces to, they are so demonic. It's unbelievable, and we can't. It's in front of us. Um, it's something that we uh, kind of go, oh, it's just music, but it really isn't. It's absolutely taken over the world, taken over our children, and taken over uh, everything that's, that, that's come into the, the times of, of world crisis. And are you talking about the, the messages that are in those, some of those songs, some of those, that, that some of those artists you know, share with their fans. Yeah, messages and the glorification of Satan. And it and it certainly had some kind of influence on you because, as you said, that you you started to get very drawn into the dark side and you were interested in witchcraft and Ouija boards and and that led to some very dark experiences for you personally. Uh -huh. Um, can you tell us a bit about what those were and how those came about? It came about just through opening those doors. You know, we've got to be very careful on what doors we knock on. And as soon as you start innocently doing a tarot reading or a Ouija board or a seance or whatever them fun things as kids that we mess around with, you're given grounds to the dark side. Of course you are. You're now engaged. You've opened the door. And once you open doors, they have the rights. They have the rights to, to come in. Um, and I opened many doors and found myself in a very, very angry, very dark place, a uh, self-destruct place. A violent place and at one point of all of that um, yeah was, was I, I don't think I was quite suicidal but in the industry that I was in uh